Hey Aries, welcome to your monthly reading for May 2022. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you for the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. Let's see where we go, Aries. All right. We have trust the seasons. Embracing change, cycles of life, transition, and growth. All right, I'm gonna put these over here. Bottom of the deck, we have the return, a new story, you decide alignment, it's coming together. Okay, so you're going through some, some, uh, some changes, sorry. Some sort of transition, but it's actually putting you, it's bringing you actually back into alignment. So even if it feels challenging at this moment in time, um, it just means that, you know, you're, you are headed in the right direction is basically what that's saying. Let's see. We also have rock endurance number 20. And at the bottom of this deck, we have discipline with time. So some of you feel restricted, like you feel like you're running out of time. It feels like with endurance, like I'm getting out of these two energies. It's almost like you feel like you've been running a race. <laughs> Like you're kind of just fighting time. Also, I feel like though you've put a lot of time and energy into whatever this is. Um, so it does feel like you're kind of in this transition phase when it comes to um, kind of in this transition phase when it comes to like your life and just what you're putting your time and your energy into. Let's see. Let's get a moonology card here. Okay, we got two. We got new moon and Sag focused on the positive and new moon and Scorpio go deeper. See, there's this new energy with this new moon stuff. And then we have last quarter moon and Taurus. Be proud of yourself. So I feel like it's just saying, like, keep going. Keep putting energy and time into what you want to achieve, you know? Like, it's... It's not really asking you to do anything different than what you're doing. Just as like, I keep going, um, focus on what's, what's working. And if you find things that are maybe not working, go deeper into that, figure, figure it out. Some of you though, like, cause this time card is giving me like Saturn energy with discipline. So it's, it's, it's testing you a little bit, <clears throat> this change that you're going through in your life but it's to bring a new story that's in alignment for you so let's see what's going on we're gonna do um kind of like whatever like half the celtic cross spread so let's see what's going on for aries in the month of may what's going on for aries in the month of may so the queen of cups crossed by the king of swords Underneath, we've got the Four of Wands. In the past, we have the Knight of Swords. On your mind, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you're trying to achieve something here. And then in the near future, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like this Five of Pentacles is you letting go of... Um, you letting go of something, Ten of Swords. It feels like you're kind of going through <coughs> this challenging space. And I honestly feel with the King and the Queen of Cups coming up here in your situation and, you know, what your challenge is. It's like the challenge is kind of like balancing the heart and the mind, like the, the masculine, the feminine as well. And also just kind of this like emotionally what feels good to you, but then also being logically like some of you. Um, maybe you're trying to be too logical because we do have the Knight of Swords here in the recent past. So you may be, be trying, you may be trying to be too logical about something that is almost maybe blocking the emotional intuitive aspect of yourself. So it's really about the balance of the two rather than cutting one off, knowing when and to use your intuition versus when to use your logical side of things. Um, because it feels like, especially with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here, like there's a sense of stability and foundation that you're looking for. Some of you may be looking to buy a home or you're looking for a relationship or something, 
but it's almost like there's this there's this feeling of you wanting stability, but it's almost like feeling like maybe you don't have it. I feel like you definitely you've got your eye on the prize here with this Ten of Pentacles. Um, and I feel like you want to achieve it. I feel like that's what this Four of Wands is like almost indicating more of like achievement. Like subconsciously, you're really wanting to achieve whatever this is and be successful. Um, and I feel like that's why you've kind of got your eye on this Ten of Pentacles. Now with this Knight of Swords in the past, it feels like maybe you were rushing things or really trying to move forward very quickly. Um, or just maybe things felt a little quick, like fast, very chaotic a little bit too, I'm getting. And again, this Five of Pentacles in the near future just makes me feel as though you're maybe kind of like working through where you're letting something go. So give me a clarifier on this Queen of Cups, King of Swords energy. What is this energy about? We have the Six of Cups. So some of you are trying to make sense of like a memory, something from the past. Okay, and again, it's like allowing yourself to emotionally go into these things, but then also you're trying to like make sense of it all. And then we have the Page of Wands. And I feel like it's in order to get you to kind of this you're trying to move forward, but it's like maybe you're doing some healing work or trying to process things from the past. Six of Cups is typically like a good energy, but maybe you're trying to figure out like what makes you feel good. What do you enjoy to do? Give me one more with that. King of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yeah, the Fool. It's like you're trying to break free of the past, but it's like it almost feels like in order to break free of the past, you feel like you have to make sense of the past. Because you're trying to move forward. Two of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Um, clarify this Four of Wands here for kind of the subconscious or what's going on underneath the reason for the reading. Empress. So yeah, you want growth. You want expansion. Some of you really want like a home, a relationship. Um, but again, it's like you want a sense of stability and foundation, but you want it in something that feels good to you with the Empress here. Um, Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck with the Emperor. So again, some of you just want a very, like, clear relationship. You could be trying, some of you, what, I'm, what I just got was like, you could be trying to prepare yourself for a relationship. So you might be focused on something external, but it's so that you're in the right space for a long-term relationship. Okay, that'll be for only some of you. But I really just feel like you're looking for a sense of stability, growth, and foundation. Um, and I, I feel like, honestly, like what's going on kind of underneath the surface is also what's happening in your brain. Um, clarify this Knight of Swords in the past. For Aries, why is this Knight of Swords here? We have the Emperor. So again, trying to control, move things really quickly. It feels like maybe now you're trying to be more in the flow as well. We have the Three of Wands. So you were really trying to pursue something or you had someone trying to really pursue you a lot of like like heavy masculine energy in the past so this could have been a person you were dealing with but it also um could be you just trying to be a little bit more controlling over the situation or trying to control this transition a little bit more why the ten of pentacles <clears throat> for what's on Aries mind two of cups some of you definitely this has to do with love or like a partnership of some sort with the emperor and the empress coming out we do have judgment you're trying to align yourself and I feel like again there's a sense of partnership success aligning even if it's a business it's like aligning yourself with the right type of business aligning yourself with the right type of job the right company um but it does feel like there's some sort of like decision that comes with this. It's like trying to figure out where that stability is maybe coming from or who who's your person, what's your person, what's the situation. Give me one more here. You want like the ultimate, the ultimate situation, definitely with that Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. It's like you're trying to find what's an energetic match to you. Okay, we got a few cards here for that. Page of Wands, the Star, the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like you really want a 
there's something star in the wheel of fortune like there's something that's destined for you that i feel like there's something that you're hoping and wishing for and you want this change to happen i feel like you're embracing this change but it's almost like you have to trust that what you're wanting page of wands four of cups is going to show up some of you are maybe doubting that it's going to show up or you're um it's like you're trying to be open to it and then trusting the process but it also feels like you're maybe doubting it a little bit why is this five of pentacles in the near future for Aries? Ten of cups, interesting, with the ace of cups. So again, I feel like you could be like leaving one thing to start a new thing. Give me one more with this five of pentacles in the near future for Aries. Five of pentacles for the near future. Yeah, ace of wands. So even though you... Like, I don't really feel like there was any necessarily, like, bad blood where you were at, but I feel like you're leaving something and moving into a new energy. Again, another 10. We have the chariot here as well. It's like you're leaving something that maybe made you happy, but it wasn't giving enough value with the five of pentacles. It wasn't enough. Queen of pentacles. Some of you could be going out and starting your own thing. Okay. I feel like it's like something where it's like you're looking for something that's going to have more potential of growth with Queen of Pentacles versus um, versus not. Knight of Wands, Four of Swords. So it's like you've been thinking a lot about this. Like I feel like by the time you decide to walk away, you've done a lot of thinking and you're ready to pursue something new. Like you already have something new lined up moving forward um, for yourself. So this feels, it's really just about you moving into this new energy, figuring out when and how to walk away and leave behind certain things. Some of you feel really rushed <clears throat> through this process. Um, and I feel like it's going to work out because I feel like you're in alignment with what it is that you're asking for um, and what it is that you want for your life. I think it's just a matter of like taking that next step. So let's get a final message here for you, Aries, for the month of May. We have <clears throat> the world card, number 21. A very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual, spiritual growth and insight. So definitely fitting <laughs> for what I just talked about, about ending a cycle here. <clears throat> oh, neck, we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration. The chance to do, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So again, there's kind of this ace of wands, this new passion, this new excitement that's coming in for you, but it's it comes with the closing out of a chapter. And I think that it's just trusting that you're doing the right thing, embracing this change, and really moving through this change is going to allow new doors to open up for you kind of as you move through your, your path. So I hope that resonates for you, Aries. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful month of May and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.